Like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new video updates. Senegal families grieve lost babies after horrific hospital fire kills 11 infants three weeks ago. Ramita Gua died after giving birth to a son, Mohammed, seven months into her pregnancy. On Thursday, her bereaved husband, El Had Gua, learned that Mohammed was one of 11 babies who died in a hospital neonatal ward fire. The couple had been trying for a baby for seven years, said Mustafasis, a cousin of the father who was among distraught family members of the dead infant who were gathered in front of the hospital in the Senegalese town of Taiva Ruan. It is heartbreaking to see him lose his wife and now his child, Mr. Sis said. I can not even look him in the eyes. If he had other children, maybe, but it was his only child. Taiva Ruan Mayor Diapes Y said on RFM radio that a short circuit had caused the fire late on Wednesday and it had spread in less than five minutes. He said two nurses who escaped had not been able to save the babies in their incubators, all of whom died. With the government facing mounting criticism over the latest in a series of deadly hospital incidents, President Sol sacked his health minister, Ms. Saar. The decree announcing the sacking, read on national television, did not specify a reason for the president's decision. Mr. Saul also declared three days of national mourning. His office said he would cut short his trip to an African Union summit in Equatorial Guinea to return to Senegal on Friday. Mr. Saul is the acting president of the African Union. Senegal's hospitals are failing. Four babies died in a hospital fire in the northern town of Ling last year and a woman and her unborn baby died in April after a hospital denied her a caesarean section during a protracted labor. Is it God's plan, or is it just that Senegal's hospitals are failing? We need to put this question to the government, Mr. Sis said. Opposition coalition leader Yehui Asken Y called for all necessary measures to be taken to prevent a similar tragedy from ever happening again in our country. Interior Minister Antoine Félix Abdelay Dion said Mr. Saul had ordered an investigation into the fire as well as an audit of neonatal units nationwide. Senegal's president says 11 newborn babies have died in a fire that broke out in the neonatal section of a hospital about 120 kilometers east of the capital. Read more public health experts have warned that many underfunded, understaffed African hospitals had been stretched beyond their capacities by the COVID-19 pandemic, leaving them unable to maintain acceptable safety standards. Amado Kane at Diop, a risk and security expert who inspected the unit, said the walls were charred and staff on duty appeared to have been overwhelmed. It can be seen that they used several canisters of fire extinguishers, he told Reuters. Taiva Uwan, located about 120 kilometers east of the capital, Dakar, is a busy road transport hub and a holy city that attracts Muslim pilgrims from all over West Africa. Diali Kaba, whose two-week-old daughter was in the neonatal ward, was awakened early on Thursday by her mother, who had heard news of the fire. The two women rushed to the hospital together and Ms. Kaba was allowed in to find out if her child was among the victims while her mother waited anxiously outside. A few minutes later, Ms. Carbo emerged in tears. Her baby girl was among the dead. The two women embraced, both weeping, until Ms. Carbo was helped into a car and driven home to grieve. Reuters posted 18 hours ago, updated 13 hours ago.